Hello and welcome to Whiskey Resource. My name is Mark. This is review number 135 and today I'm going to be doing a review of a whiskey that I picked up at the Blair Athol Distillery in Pitlockery um, a couple of weeks ago. It's the Blair Athol um, 12 year old single malt whiskey. This is a 200 um, ml bottle, a 20 centiliter bottle. Um, it is bottled at 43% ABV. It is owned by the Diageo group of distilleries. We believe it's chill filtered, um, being a Diageo release, and we suspect it probably has had some colour adjustment. Um, Blairthol is a little town on the uh, A9 up there in the Highlands of Scotland, this being a Highland whisky. Um, however, the, the Blairthol distillery isn't located in the Blairthol town. It is located, as I mentioned, in Pitt Lockery. Um, also in Pitt Lockery, you've got the excellent whisky shop, Robinson's, and also you have the Edredor and Signatory um, distillery and independent bottlers located there as well. So this, the 12 year old, um, is available online, uh, widely available online. Uh, at the moment, Masters Malt are selling it for £49.20. pence. the Whiskey Exchange, they have two different varieties of this bottle. They have one that comes in a gift carton like this and one that doesn't. The one that comes with the gift carton has currently got £5 off and that can be picked up at £43.45. pence. Normally though, the non-gift box version is £48.45. pence. And the Whiskey World are selling it at the moment again for £5 off at £40.90, but regular price of £45.90. So an average price based on the non-discounted variations comes to £47.85. It's a 12-year-old whiskey, as I mentioned, and it comes in with an average value score of 86.02 out of 100, which is a decent enough price, uh, or score rather. The price... Uh, just reading some reviews, some people aren't happy with the price uh, being nearly 40, 45, 50 pounds. Um, however, you need to taste it really um, to give it a bit of a, of a decision on value for money. Now, I have had a, a little bit out of this. I have poured my dram already. Um, well, what do we know about it? It is a sherry matured whiskey from the Highland region. Um, not really that well talked about online. Um, not many people do reviews about it or not recently. Um, this is the first time I've tried this particular whiskey or rather this is the first time I bought this whiskey. It has been on my radar for some time as has has, has some of the other um, from the flora and fauna range of whiskies um, from uh, the um, Diageo group. On the nose what we're getting? Well, it, you get that sh uh, sherry influence there on the nose of the dark fruits, um, some caramels. Uh, Dunnage Warehouse's kind of an earthiness to it. It is a really nice sherry nose in my um, Blair Athol Mini Glencairn here. It's just lovely. It's, 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 it's as you'd imagine, a sherry matured uh, whiskey to be. It's rich. It's got a nice sweet fruit coming off it dark fruits it's, it is when i first nosed this i was actually um blown away by the nose more so than the palate and when i tasted the palate initially uh i thought it was a bit bit too drying a bit too bitter my thoughts have changed a little bit but on the palate It's rich with those fruit cakes, Christmas cake, Christmas pudding, sherry. There's some oaky bitterness going on there. There's a nip of alcohol at 43%, whilst we would love it to be a bit stronger. It is quite rewarding with the strength. A, a touch of water, a little drop of water can really release the oils in this um, and give those sherried fruits a bit more impactfulness releasing the uh the, the the sultana the raisins the cherry the ginger and the cinnamon a bit more than you'd get neat but i prefer mine neat it's a little dry on the finish but i think with this bottle having it open and leaving it to just um 
a a bit uh, certainly has helped and i'm really looking forward to buying this trying this finishing it it is really a fantastic example of a sherry whiskey it's certainly at those prices 40 pound 90 pence from the whiskey world is a really good price for this bottle uh, i would say if you can pick it up below 40 it's a steal get it but even even upwards of 49 20 um i think it's some something that really would be a really nice gift to somebody who's probably seen it thought i won't pay that uh, but i'd like to try it um so certainly it isn't off putting 49 pound 20 pence although if it was a bit cheaper it would be a better i do like i've mentioned before i do like these 20 mil um, or 20 cent litre um, gift bottles that you can buy um, the packaging just helps wrapping them as a present but really it's a bit superfluous and not really needed so the option i do like the option the fact that they do a one with and without uh, certainly in the larger bottle uh, but i do recommend this whiskey it is really nice uh, it's very competent the distillery itself i was literally just flying in and out uh, to have a look in the gift shop it's a really nice looking distillery i wish i could spend a little more time there um i took a couple of photos it's it's really beautiful looking distillery uh dark brick um stone distillery uh I'd say it was it's really nice as you walk through towards the gift shop there's a, a big open reception area with a tasting bar to the the right hand side as you enter with some seating and to the left is the reception desk straight through takes into the courtyard with the uh the gift shop there over to the the left uh, a little bit of seating inside uh, nice nice distillery uh but i can definitely recommend this 86.02 for value score um that would be better if you want to dis take account the discount prices don't really see this on discount that often i'm waffling but this is this is a very very nice sher sherry whiskey and to be honest i i don't think there's um too many too similar to this they either tend to be really heavily sherried and therefore uh, much stronger in in, in flavor um or it dropped down to 40 percent and you don't really get the full impact i think the 43 percent has made this less sherry impact while it's still a sh impactful sherry whiskey um it's kind of allowed some of the distillery character to come through a bit more for 46 percent i think would probably be the maximum i would probably want to drink this particular uh, expression at uh, i think they've probably pitched this one quite well I am enjoying this and it's one to look out for i think for the future um as they um kind of play around with the special releases that they do okay well that's it i've waffled on enough uh, if you've lasted this long well done thank you very much speak to you later